Thank you, sir. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the cadets of the Air Force Air LTC Union, GA20067, Senior Aerospace Science Instructor, Lieutenant Colonel Ostro, and myself, I'd like to welcome you to Dublin High School's Cadet Corps Processional and Ceremonial Crowning of this year's King and Queen of the Military Ball. I'm Master Sergeant Mike Barnes, Aerospace Science Instructor and Master of Ceremonies for today's program. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain silent for the presentation of the colors and the playing of the national anthem. Thank you, you may be seated. Excuse me. Before I, excuse me. Excuse me. Before I continue. Um, From Ma's beginning of 20 units in 1966, worldwide, the Air Force JROTC program has grown to a strength of 879 units, approximately 102,000 cadets, employs more than 1,900 instructors, and operates units in 48 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Italy, Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands, as well as the United Kingdom, Japan, Korea, and Guam. In these overseas locations, the students are dependents of Air Force personnel. The objectives of JROTC are to educate and train high school cadets in citizenship, promote community service, instill responsibility, character, and self-discipline, as well as provide instruction in air and space fundamentals. The Air Force JROTC program is grounded in the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. The curriculum emphasizes Air Force heritage and traditions, the development of flight, of 
applied life sciences, military earth space policies, and space exploration. Today, you will witness a part of this tradition as Georgia 20067 proudly takes center court to pay homage to the outgoing king and queen, then take part in the coronation of a newly crowned king and queen. It now gives me great honor to introduce the cadet corps, followed by both the outgoing and incoming king and queen. Presenting, representing, excuse me, the freshman class is Cadet Airman Simone Berger, escorted by Cadet Airman First Class Tyler Marks. <laughs> Cadet Airman Shanti Robinson, escorted by Cadet Staff Sergeant Jamar Garcia. Representing the sophomore class is Cadet C. Herman, Guy Boston, escorted by Cadet in her first class, Whitney Jordan, escorted by Cadet in her first class, Jonathan Wright. <laughs> Representing the junior class is Cadet C. Airman Sierra O'Neill, escorted by Cadet C. Airman Jordi Corona. <laughs> now, representing the senior class is Cadet Tech Sergeant Bernice Calloway, escorted by Cadet Airman. Cadet Airman Gage Brown, escorted by Cadet Airman David Gordon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to first introduce last year's military ball king and queen, Cadet Captain Dustin Palmer, and Cadet Technical Sergeant Dominique West. Finally, it gives me great pride to introduce to you the King and Queen elect for this year, Cadet Senior Airman Brandon Tolliver and Cadet Second Lieutenant Felicia Battle.
custom began before World War II and is a tradition that still holds strong in the U.S. Air Force today. The military law custom began before World War II and is a tradition that still holds strong in the U.S. Air Force today. This function has served the Air Force well as an occasion for military members to meet socially. It enhances morale and the spirit of war of the unit through an atmosphere of camaraderie, good fellowship, food, and fun. Tonight, over 500 cadets and their guests will turn out as our unit, WGA 20067, combines with other ROTC units in Houston County at the Robbins Air Force Base Museum of Aviation. But first, protocol must be established as the new king and queen will now be crowned. A round of applause again, please, for the In an effort to produce well-informed and helpful citizens, Air Force JROTC encourages cadets to get involved in their local communities. This is one of the most interesting and fun aspects of the ROTC experience. The cadets also volunteer their time to support local events like the Adopt the Highway Program and the Relay for Life. Your cadets have also marched proudly and represented you in all Dublin City parades. They routinely visit homes for the aged, hospitals, and veteran groups, as well as many other agencies to demonstrate their resolve to help their community and their country. Ladies and gentlemen, as we bring today's assembly to a close, on behalf of the senior aerospace science instructor, Lieutenant Colonel Ostro, and myself, and the young men and women of Unit GA 20067. I'd like to thank Dr. Ledbetter, Principal Hunter, and his staff, as well as my fellow teachers, and finally you, the student body, for your continued support of the Air Force JROTC program here at Dublin High School and its mission of developing informed citizens of character. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please allow the entire cadet corps to depart before you dismiss. Thank you for attending.